And uh, like every time, we're going to review four albums in five minutes, let you know which ones you want to spend your money on or download illegally and which ones you don't need. And you can go to heavemedia.com right now and check out our latest segment of Know Your Bandmate with Hammer No More The Finger. The Broken Family Band may sound like an American post-rock act, but they are in fact from England. Their seventh studio album, Please and Thank You, was released April 20th on Cooking Vinyl. This is their single, Salivating. I'm gonna get my shit together And head out for some breakfast The money made a difference to how I feel about last year For as many albums as The Broken Family Band has done, Please and Thank You adds nothing to their repertoire. I'm gonna heave it. I wasn't a huge fan of the vocals, but the lyrics were intelligent and the layered songwriting uh, kept me coming back. So the Broken Family Band, uh, they're on tour right now in England and you know they have I guess a bit of a standard like Britpop sound, but the thing that I really enjoyed about them was the way that they layered their songs. You know it starts out um, real bare and then you know they would add layer after layer of melody, um, uh, of chorus and hook and everything. And, and after a while I kind of started to dig that pattern. I thought I mean, it's a well, it's a well done album, but really, it didn't have any meat. It's very bare bones, mm -hmm. and I feel if you're working within, you know, that type of genre, you need something more to stand out. No, that's that's fair. The one thing I would say is that I wish that they would change up the tempo a little bit. Lots of times, you know, it starts out oh, yeah. slow, it builds up to a climax, which works, uh, you know, in a kind of diversified sense. But when it's every single track is like that, um, it, it can kind of become repetitive. But nonetheless, I thought that the musicianship kind of saved it. Metric is the half-US, half-Canadian indie pop band pumping a female singer. Their fourth full-length album, Fantasies, came out April 7th independently in the US. This is their single, Help, I'm Alive. Keep me alive. If I, stumble. I was surprised by the exciting style on Fantasies that makes Metric a better band than before. The tempo changes and the soaring choruses pay big dividends for Metric. So with Metric, they use a lot of Vox, they use a lot of synthesizers, um, and I thought that a lot of the melodies were really engaging. Mm -hmm. One thing that I didn't like about the album is that for uh, for uh, songs that so obviously reference like '70s glam rock and and a little bit of like you know '80s '80s early '80s disco, mm -hmm. it's not very danceable. See, I thought the exact opposite. I thought this album was. Really good, really poppy, you know, can jump around your room, like, whatever you do by yourself, I don't care. But, um... Yeah. It's just, it's a well-constructed album. I think it's not a leap by any means for Metric, but it's mm -hmm. definitely a continuation of a style that they started. Definitely. The thing I do like about Metric a lot, I have always liked and continue to like, is Emily Haynes' uh, vocals. Mm -hmm. She's a great vocalist. I tend not to like very feminine vocalists, and she has a very, like, gruff, like seething voice, but it's still pretty. The Yeah Yeah Yeahs is the New York power trio ready to blow minds with their latest album, It's Blitz. Released March 31st in the US, their third studio album came out on Interscope Records. This is their single, Zero. Not the Yeah Yeah Yeahs that I wanted to hear, but this new style is well done and a giant leap for the band. It's a big change of pace for the Yeah Yeah Yeahs, but I think that the glam dance sound actually works in spades. So the Yeah Yeah Yeahs basically ditch the, you know, like the art rock sound that they're known for. Mm -hmm. I really like the, the transformation that they've made. Um, I like it in some respects, but I really liked what they were doing before, mm -hmm. which I think made me like this album less. I still liked it. I still thought Karen O's voice is still gorgeous and, um, the compositions went with that, but I miss that energy that she's known for. Like, I can't imagine her on stage, like, jumping around, like, spewing fake blood at people anymore, you right. know? Right. Which is, I would agree, like, disappointing, because she puts on an amazing show. Right. Um, but, I, you know, I think it's interesting, because it reminds me a little bit of the Metric album. It, too, has uh, a lot of, like, 70s glam rock, 80s synth sounds to right. it. Um, but the difference is, whereas, you know, I didn't find that album very danceable, I found this one to be really, really danceable. I never thought that I would say that a Yeah, Yeah, Yeah's album was fun, but I had a lot of fun listening to this album. I think their other albums are more fun than this one. This one was kind of like, I want to smoke some opium in like China and like listen to this album and just see what comes up. Right. That is my, my like when I think of a fun thing to do though, smoking opium in China. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> and now it's time for Get to Know. Our Get to Know band for this week is The Silent Mirrors. 
This band is from Detroit and sound nothing like their garage rock predecessors. Their second album, The Globe, came out August 26 on Defend Music. This is their single, On Our Way Home. On our way home, we found ourselves some shovels. So this week's band that you should know is The Silent Years, and uh, what I really like about them is the way that uh, the melodies are really kind of sunny. It's almost like a perfect spring album, I think. I can imagine myself mm -hmm. like with the windows down in the car listening to this. Um, but you know how it rains sometimes in the spring, or you know, <laughs> every now and then you get like snow, kind of like we have in Chicago right now. Uh, the, the lyrics are a little bit bittersweet, so it's the mix between the two that I like. Mm -hmm. I also find it interesting that they're from Detroit, and a lot of Detroit bands are either um, like rap acts, hip hop, or garage rock. Yeah. And they're nothing like that at all. No, it's indie pop all the way. Mm -hmm. Really good. The Broken Family Band have a layered pop sound but could use more meat and backbone. Metric features strong musicianship and great vocals. For the Yeah Yeah Yeahs, we disagreed about the danceability but agreed about the strong songwriting. And the Silent Years, our band you should know, have sunny melodies that are laced with an indie rock vibe. Thanks for watching Take It or Heave It. As always, I'm Amy Dittmeyer, and this is Ryan Peters. And you can head by the website right now and read our interview with Full Chen. HeapMedia.com would like to thank the Polish Ambassador for creating our theme music. If you'd like to know more, go to PolishAmbassador.com. Hack addicted. Okay.